Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off this ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. on this deck and recently too i guess we're not alone here after all someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship station. Once you get the chemicals, you're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. For so long, Dr. Charles Mercer, I now have a live subject for myself. I'm eager to validate my tissue regeneration. Initial restraint was problematic, but now the patient's resting comfortably. He trusts me, Dr. Kai. He puts his life in my hands. He knows his part in all of this. Understands what I'm doing. The forehead has been swapped clean and Now attempting to create a passage to insert the sample tissue. What are you doing? Your fight for survival is admirable, but pointless. Uh, and yet you keep on going. It almost makes me think that we have hope and species. Are we the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago? We just haven't accepted it yet. Stop running. Stop your struggle. Our future. Your future, the future of our race, ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us. Our greatest creation. Thank <laughs> you. 
a DNA sample of the growth. According to lab records, there's an inert sample stored in the ICU. A Dr. Mercer was apparently doing intensive research on it. I've been trying to contact Hammond, but all I'm getting is static. Isaac, you've got to hurry. Your persistence surprises me. Holding on to your final breath, you claw your way along. To what was once your war. But now, belongs to the children. Be glad of the knowledge that your death will bring their birth. Listen. Can you hear it? It's coming. Say your prayers.
jealous mouse. The specimen continues to respond well to my experiments. Its cellular of fortitude, not to mention elasticity, is remarkable. Dr. Kine, I'm sure, would disapprove. That's it, Isaac. Now you just need to... This has gone far enough. Accept your part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extinction. Life support system failure on that call. Please that? evacuate immediately. Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck, and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented in space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. you need to make the poison. Now get back to the chemistry lab. What are you going to do? Do it fast. Get out of your breathing. You're cutting out, Hammond. I'm going to try to switch over. <sighs> Shit. I lost the signal. I'll continue scanning for his location. You have to get that compound mixed. I've got more intel on the atmosphere. A survivor's report says a massive creature entered the hydroponic deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began degrading. The survivor called it the Leviathan. and get up to hydroponics as fast as you can. Still no response from Hammond, so be careful. There's no telling how contaminated that deck is. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit, misplaced as it may be. I think... I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spawn the hive mind's offerings. You deserve to witness that, at least. Thank <laughs> you. 
Perhaps now you will understand. The work I have done must continue. Will continue. I, Dr. Charles Mercer, shall serve as the catalyst to the salvation of our species. These specimens will return to Earth with me. I will spread their divine glory across the entire planet. I will leave you with my creation. Embrace the left. That's the last we see of that thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby and you can take it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time.